क्वेश्चन अपेयर इन 1996 यू आर गिवन अ फ्लोरेट इज गिवन हेड इज गिवन टर्बाइन स्पीड इज गिवन एंड यू वांट टू फाइंड आउट नंबर ऑफ टर्बाइंस एंड द मैक्सिमम स्पीड इज नोन टू अस सो क्यू इज इक्वल्स टू 175 हेड इज 18 मीटर स्पीड इज गिवन एज 150 आरपीएम ओवरऑल एफिशिएंसी इज 82% You have to find out number of turbines and the specific speed is given as 460. So we know the formula for specific speed. Using the specific speed, we can find out the power developed by one turbine, and then we'll find out the number of turbines. So maximum power developed by using the given head will be equal to rho into q, rho g into q into h into overall efficiency. Rho is 1000, g is 9.81, q is given as 175. Overall efficiency is given as 82 percent. So the total power, the available power that we have, is equals to 25,000 kilowatts. Now using the specific speed formula, we can calculate the power developed for one turbine. So we have N s equal to N under root of P divided by h to the power 5 by 4. N s is given as 460. N equal to 150. P we don't know. H is equals to 18 to the power 5 by 4. So power developed by one turbine will be 13,000 kilowatts. So one power, one turbine will produce 13,000. Total required is 25,000. So approximate number of turbines will be equals to 2. 25,000 divided by 13,000. Answer is 2. In this question, we have to find out which turbine will suit for us, and we are given the data for head, discharge, and speed, and overall efficiency. So what we do is that we know the standard value of Specific speed, so we'll calculate the specific speed, and from the specific speed we can find out the which type of turbine will suit for us. So we have head equal to 24.5, discharge is 10.1. Your speed should be in RPM. We are given the RPS, so we have to multiply by 60. That is 240 RPM. So we have overall efficiency is given as 90 percent. So first of all we'll calculate power develop. Power developed is rho into g into q into h multiplied by overall efficiency. 9.81 or 9810 q is 10.1. Head is 24.5. Overall efficiency is 0.9. So we can get the value of power equals to 2184 kilowatts. Now we can find the uh, equation for specific speed. Specific speed is N s equal to N under root of p h to the power Five by four. Now speed is equal to two forty. Power equal to two one eight four. Head is twenty four point five. Find out value of N S, which is very close to two zero five. It is known that for Francis turbine, the specific speed ranges from sixty to three hundred. So the given turbine must be the Francis turbine. Choice A is correct answer. The turbine is to operate under a head of twenty five and Speed of 200 RPM. So we have head equals to 25 meters. Speed is equal to 200. This data is for prototype, so we are writing the suffix equal to p. And the discharge through prototype is 9, and overall efficiency is 90 percent. Now we want to just check out that if the head was changed to 20, using the same turbine, so we have scale ratio equal to 1. So I write the second data for h is equal to 20 meter. Overall efficiency remains same. We want to check out the speed and discharge. First of all, we'll calculate the power. Power is equal to rho g into q into h p into overall efficiency nine eight one zero and q is equal to nine h p is equal to twenty five. Overall is ninety percent. So power of first model is one nine eight six. Let's start with the very simple equation that u is equal to pi d n is equals to phi into pi. Into under root of 2 gh, so we have d n is proportional to root h. Now diameter of both are same, so we can write diameter of model upon diameter of prototype, n of model with n of prototype equal to root h of model upon root h of prototype. So that will be get cancelled because the they are same size. N m we don't know. N p is equal to 200. H m is equals to 20. H p is equal to 25. Is multiplied by N P that equal to 200. So from this we can find out the speed of model when operated at 
20 meters. Actually, it is not a model, it is 1 and 2 suffix. So, speed is 178.9. Second equation you can use for q equals to area into velocity that is power 4 into d square into under root of 2gh. Don't remember any equation, use a very simple format. So, q for model is upon q for prototype will be equal to d of model upon d of prototype whole square into under root of h of model upon h of prototype. Substitute all values and you can obtain q of model. q of prototype is 9. Ratio is equals to 1 because they are same same we are using for both cases. HM we are HM equal to 20, HP is equals to 25. So QM equals to is 8.04 meter cube per second. And lastly you can go for power as rho in G rho into G into Q into HP. So power of model, power of prototype upon power of model, rho will be same, G will be same. So it's simply Q of P upon Q of model into H of P upon H of model. Power is 1986 for prototype. We don't know the model power. QP is 9. QM is 8.04. Rate of the pump P is 25 and for model is 20. So we can find out the power developed in the second case is 1421 kilowatts.